What's up, everybody? Derek here with Team New Canoe. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about the Motor Guide XI3 and how I mount it to my pursuit. Uh, the answer is very simple. Uh, if you have a New Canoe, which you should, uh, New Canoe sells the bow mount kit for your specific model. Very simple. It's two plates right here. They uh, use the existing holes from your handle that comes uh, standard on your new canoe pursuit then you only have to drill one hole at the very tip reach through in the hatch secure the nut under there and then you need to buy the um, quick release bracket from motor guide which is this plate right here it attaches to the new canoe plates made for it and then the other part attaches to the XI3 uh, trolling motor um, so let's check it out As here is the motor guide XI3, uh, 55 pound thrust, 12 volt trolling motor. It has the most accurate GPS system on the market today. Uh, it's called Pinpoint GPS. This is a game changer, you guys will love it. But let's get into seeing how this all goes together. I'm gonna roll it on its side here. This is the other part of the quick release bracket. All you have to do is take this little pin out take the motor, set it onto your boat, onto that quick release plate, take the pin, snap this pin back in place so you hear it click, then it's installed. The next question I get from most people is, how do I stow and deploy while I'm on the boat? And that's a very simple answer. this this is our power plug I have it wired here so I can plug it in on a custom bracket I'll show you that later uh, for now I want to show you how I stow and deploy the uh, trolling motor while I'm on the boat so all I did was take a simple rope a little piece of paracord one carabiner one little handle type of deal and I just lay that in the boat and I take this carabiner and I drill a hole in the foot release pedal right here just a small hole, and you take that carabiner, and you click it on there. That's all you have to do. Okay, that is going to control the foot pedal switch to help us deploy the motor. What does that look like? It's very simple. I'll show you that in a second. Then I tie another rope with a handle onto the neck of the trolling motor, onto the shaft, just above where it sits onto the bracket here, and just below the head. Sorry for this noise, guys. We got a plane going by right here. Hope that doesn't affect you too much. And then when I take that, I just set it right there in the pursuit and we're good. So after I push offshore and I want to deploy the motor, it's very simple. I take my little paracord that's hooked to my carabiner, that's hooked to my pedal clip, and I basically just give it a little pull, and then I push the motor forward just a tiny bit, hold on to the other rope, and let it deploy. Turn around, take off, you go do your fishing, you're out catching all the bass or whatever you're catching. Um, so you want to come back and you want to know how you can get this guy back up without running to ground, without getting out of your boat. It's very simple. We still use the same two steps that we used before. You could be doing this from back there on my cooler seat. I just lean forward. I grab the little handle. I release the foot pedal like that. And then I just grab that simply and pull it up and slide it right back on. Very simple guys, very easy. Um, one trick that I've learned is if you keep the motor running at about half speed and you pull this pedal, it will actually help the motor come up and make it even easier for you to pull back on. Shut it off with your wireless remote after it gets up into the air and then pull it back on. Guys, it's that simple. Um, I hope this video helps you guys understand the ease of mounting the NXI3 to your new canoe or you know guys if you're crafty and you don't have a new canoe you can make up something here to make a mount for this um, motor guide quick release bracket to mount on anything and then deploy it from that mount with the same two strap technology guys I hope that helps and uh, I hope you guys have a great 2020 season Wait, <laughs> I almost forgot. 
let me show you how easy it is to take off the boat. You simply reach down, grab the carabiner, release it, reach over, grab your little little release clip. And all you have to do, guys, is simply take the motor off the boat, put it in your truck, your car, whatever you got, take off, enjoy the rest of your day.